Hey guys, um, hey, this is uh, Saravan and Ganesh here. It's about 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. I guess it's October 11th. Yep, October 11th, Friday. I just wanted to put together a quick video, give some value here in the Facebook group. Um, also, give you some updates on a couple of things happening. Um, I see a lot of new, um, new members in the Facebook group. Um, I've been getting a few students who signed up for my course also. I've been doing one on one. I haven't even been promoting my course, to be honest. But I thought I'll put this um, video out there, um, just providing some value, especially if you're brand new. Um, uh, just a little bit of my story on how I ranked and rented my first lead gen site. But more than what I did, I also want to show you some resources what you can do in the next, um, this quarter, next three months. We have 82 days remaining um, till 2020, January 1st. And I want to show you what you can do in these 82 days to really stay, be, you know, at least make $500 a month from January 2020. And um, about exactly five years ago, uh, it was October timeframe. Um, I think to the date, if I'm not wrong, um, October 10th, 11th, 12th, that, you know, I, it's when I first bought a, an SEO course, I paid seven grand for it. And um, I'll go into details of what I did, but I, I, I put my heart and soul into it and I learned as much as I could. That 90 days, October, November, December, it changed my, my trajectory of my life because in Feb of next year, I remember five months from the day I got into SEO and rank and rent and lead gen and all that. I remember I got my first client for $4,000. They paid me $4,000 um, to do a website, which I then went on to um, hire a contractor in Upwork.com. I paid him $700 and it was $3,300 pure profit, right? And I remember, um, taking my family to Singapore <laughs> with that extra money um, because, hey, man, it's extra money and I was excited. But but before going into all that, um, if you are new to this group, I want to welcome you. I also want to make sure that you go to the file section um, of this group, the Rank and Run Strategy Pure Passive Income Facebook group. And then there are two different PDF files um, in there. I want you guys to read the Rank and Rent Strategy PDF. Okay, there's the the other one is the freedom number PDF. You can read that too if you want to. But really, this rank and rent strategy that PDF, that's the ebook that I wrote that pretty much shows step by step what you need to do. Um, even if you don't know, if you know zero, zilch, nada, nothing about SEO, um, what you need to do is from ground up basically. You, you can start from zero and be able to get a website up and running and ranking okay and i believe if you do the the niche research the keyword research if you do the if you pick your niche the right way you can absolutely make absolutely make 500 dollars a month in three months time okay mm -hmm. and i'm talking of recurring 500 dollars a month but more than the money you will have a skill that you would learn um that you can pretty much rank websites at will so make sure you go to the file section and then click on the DB, uh, pdf file which is the ebook the rank and rank strategy um, but basically what I wanted to talk about is, um, a couple of things. Of course, I won't get into, you know, um, how I ranked my first lead gen site. Honestly, um, this video, I'm going to show you some niche research. I'm going to go, you um, take you some, uh, take you to some live, uh, how I pick niches and keyword research and things like that. But, um, this video coupled with the ebook should be more than enough for you to Get on your first five hundred dollars a month. Okay, my first website or the rank and rent or lead gen site that I ranked, um, it took me about five months to rank it, um, and that was in April two thousand sixteen. Um, apart from that, I had clients, and that's when I was getting into rank and rent. So, in five months, I put together a website and did the on page and the off page SEO, and was able to get um, to page one where it was generating calls. And then I rented it out for $300 a month. Okay, I can easily have rented it for a lot more, but it was my first site. I was excited. I just wanted to make some money. But you know what? Every single month from then on, I just calculated it. Um, it's been three years and six months, and that site has been stuck in the maps for multiple keywords. It's, it's an organic page one for multiple keywords. It's in the tree removal niche. It's in a city of about 100,000 population. I... Um, 
I think that, like the I spoke to the owner, the business owner I've been renting this website to for the first time this year. I think in the in the three and a half years I've been renting this website to him, I would have spoken to him maybe three times, maybe four times. Right. I spoke to him the other day last week and um and he was like uh, he has stopped home advisor and angie's list and all of the advertising because he's got more than enough business in uh through my website right and um he mentioned and i asked him hey um uh, how much are you making a month average if you don't mind i'm not going to increase the fees or anything i'm just curious you know you, you are my first customer uh, i'm just curious and he said um last month which was september um he closed his books um at 33 or 34 thousand dollars of free services okay and i he paid me 300 dollars. he's paying me one percent okay and i'm I, i'm not going to increase my fees he's my first customer you know there's always a special affinity towards the first guy but think about this right this rental property this website it's been generating me 300 dollars a month month after month for three and a half years and it's ongoing for the rest for the for the next 15, 20, 30, 40 years, I'm sure, right? Um, and if you do the math, $300 a month times 42 months, that's $12,600 a month, uh, month after month. I haven't put one backlink since 2016. I haven't touched the website since 2016, like touch with. So this that's the power of rank and rent if you really know to do it. But the most important thing is you should know how to pick the niches. And I'm going to dive into that a little bit deeper. So for, for the for some of the new folks here, who am I? Uh, why should you uh, listen to me? Let me pull this a bit down. So my name is Saravanan Ganesh. Call me Saravanan. Call me Ganesh. I don't care. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm married. Uh, my wife and I, we got two kids. So we live in Michigan. I came to the U.S. in 2002 as an international student. Um, I'm originally from Sri Lanka, but I grew up in India. Um, and I paid a total of $30,000 for a master's degree in computer engineering um, as an international student, okay? I worked in IT for um, about 12 years, um, worked mainly for General Motors, um, also for, uh, for Ford for a couple of years and Blue Cross Blue Shield for a couple of years and a few other companies, but about six years in General Motors, really. And I hated sitting at the desk job. I hated waiting for the clock to turn five so I can go home. I hated the office politics. I hated my biggest pet peeve in the in the job was the public toilet there, right? This <laughs> I just hated it. The stalls were like you, you know what the guy next to you was doing just by sitting in your you know, whatever. So, but it was crazy. I just wanted to be in my home, in my own toilet. That was my thing. Um, my first job, uh, my annual gross salary was thirty six thousand dollars a year, and. Um, Bob Proctor, um, I listen to him a lot. Some of you who don't know him, you may want to look him up. Um, he said he was the one who sent me an email. I was on his email list, was promoting an SEO course, and that's how I joined that, paying seven thousand dollars. And um, at that time, I know he was he he had a saying um, that stuck into my mind. He said, "How would your life look like if you turn your annual income into your monthly income?" Okay. And I can tell you, man, $36,000 a year, that's one thing. But when you make $36,000 a month, that's a different thing, okay? And it's totally possible through rental rank and rent, okay? I don't want to go into details, but that's what I'm going to do. So my biggest thing is for you guys here, the next 90 days, you can absolutely, absolutely tear this thing apart, absolutely turn your life into that when you start in January 2020, you don't have to be worried about money because you have a skill a skill set now that you can absolutely just go rinse and repeat, rank, rinse and repeat, okay? Um, I remember, and I think it was to the date, if I'm not wrong, like October 11th to 15th timeframe, I bought this course. And then I go to my job, I come back and then I put like four to six hours every single day learning seo learning wordpress learning pbns learning citations learning just how to rank and trying to understand and comprehend the whole thing right um, of course over the period of time i also got into the shiny object syndrome which i would say please don't do that um, i think if you want to my full course is all you need uh, but really this ebook um, free ebook is good enough for you um, if you want to just go ahead and start trying, you know, doing some seo stuff 
Uh, but I got a couple of SEO clients. And like I said, in three months, um, I got into SEO in October 2014. And in February of 2015, I landed a client through Thumbtack. Uh, I did not know it at that time, but that was like a, a $25 million company who was looking to re revamp their website. And I don't know what I did. My web proposal, my website proposal was picked up and they hired me to revamp the website. A $25 million company, I had no idea what I was doing. I charged them $4,000. They did not blink an eye. I, you know, they just said, okay, sure, we're, you know, we're, how do I pay you? How do we start? <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, long story short, we, I hired a contractor um, from Upwork.com, paid him $700 for that. He gave, me, he gave me inputs on how to talk to the client, what do I say, things like that. And he did the whole website redesign. I charged the client $4,000 and I paid him $700 and I think I paid him another $100 because I was so happy like a bonus and I, I pocketed $3,200 profit guys, right? And in that money, um, I, took a, I took my family to a surprise trip on Singapore, okay? So why am I saying all this to you is because really if you understand what you're doing, you can literally go into uh, you know so many different, you know, making money, okay? Now let me let me show you a couple of things that I want I want you guys to understand. Most of the SEO folks in my experience, okay, I have people coming, my students, one-on-one -on -one coaching, group calls, and all that. Um, when when asked to get into rank and rent, they pick the niche that is so obvious. Everybody goes for like a dentist in Chicago or something, you know, like a big city, or they go for like a plumber niche in in another big city like Chicago or Dallas or something, okay. Now let's look at that. Chicago, dentist in Chicago is 1,200 searches a month, search volume. Let's say Plumber Dallas, okay. Let's look at that. That's 260 searches a month, search volume. Now, if you look into it, Dallas is such a big city that, yeah, you would be able to rank and outrank these guys, but it'd probably take you six months to eight months but more than the time it'll take you a lot of you know money investment from your site website content citations pbn links blogs all of that right and even let's say you take six months to eight months to rank this website you probably can rent it out for a if you're a good salesperson for two thousand dollars a month let's say okay so you take eight months from now until maybe june of um next year um you put a lot of your money and time and in effort into it, ranking the website is such a competitive niche. And then let's say you are able to rent it out for uh, $2,000 a month. That's not bad, okay? Look at the competition. Um, DA of 27, DA of 35, uh, DA of 30, okay? A, a local website with a domain authority in the 30s, that's a pretty competitive niche. Of course, DA is not the only, only thing, but that's a quick way to gauge that, right? Everybody or most people, they go after these plumbers, these dentists, these lawyers and all these big cities. What I really wanted to start thinking is go and search for um, list of US cities by population, okay? And what you can do is go in and go and find cities with 100,000 or less population. Okay, click on any of these and you'll be able to go and find uh, um let's say you know let's just go over wikipedia find a city if you look at this chicago has got 2.7 million population we don't want to go after chicago especially if you're just starting out okay dallas is 1.3 million population you don't want to go after dallas especially if you're starting out there and then the plumber and the lawyer and the dentist like these these niches are so you know they've been beat upon so much by all the ceos that why do you want to fight with those guys? Why don't you go down all the way, find a city that's like 100,000 or so in that range, okay? Look at this, Wilmington, North Carolina, okay? And then find one of these cities where the competition is so low, but there's still a contractor, there's still companies and businesses who want leads. So I bet that instead of going for a plumber, if you go and find a gutter repair guy or or a painter, or a fence repair guy, or a, or a tree removal guy in Wilmington, North Carolina. So let's just go for tree removal 
Wilmington, North Carolina. Okay. Now let's look at this. It's it says 390 searches a month, but that's probably because yeah, it's a small city. I bet there's some SEO guys searching again and again, and that's why. But irrespective of that, there's going to be like if you look at the the competition, DA of seven. You see that? DA of six is the number one website. You can literally out like put up a website, do some you know, basic on-page optimization and be able to rank these guys and still be able to make a quick 300, 400, 500 dollars a month. And you'll be able to rank these sites like this in these cities for maybe in three months or maybe even one month sometimes. Like let's just say gutter installation or gutter cleaning. Okay, fall is over here, gutter cleaning Wilmington. There's 50 people searching a month for that. Okay, and you can literally go and see, hey, Look at these guys. Um, actually, even gutter seems to be a little bit competitive with 18 and all that, 10. Maybe we can go for something else that keep doing your niche research. And a great place to go do your niche research is Home Advisor. Go to Home Advisor and then look at all these niches, all these categories, right? You can just go over here and find somebody. It is as easy as that. You don't have to go for the plumber. Leave the plumber alone, okay? Why don't you go and look at the wood fence install guy or or the um the painting and staining guy, right? Uh, the moving professional, um, uh, cabinets and countertops. Come on, like go and pick any of these cities that are like hundred thousand and less, or even around the hundred thousand uh, population, and you'll be surprised what you can find. Um, let's just take an example, right? Um, the other day I was talking to somebody and we were looking at the free service Boise, Idaho, niche, and um, it's 140 searches a month. That's pretty. That is pretty pretty good. And the the DA is 12, 14. It's not too bad, you know. Like DA of four is ranking on the website, you know. Because he's got Boise tree, so his on-page optimization is, is okay. So these are cities where you can go and you can literally be able to rank quickly and find a contractor and say, hey, I'm giving you some free leads. How about paying me $200, $300 a month? And $300 a month for a, a business owner is nothing. It's literally nothing. Look at this, Tyler, Texas. Okay, why don't we go and see Tyler, Texas. And I mean, I'm just looking at the free service. Okay, this looks like a Legion site, exact match domain. Uh, not that you won't be able to outrank him, but look at that. DA3, and he's on the, he's on the map. Okay. Uh, is he, uh, looks like a template website to me. I mean, it's literally crazy, okay, what you can do with it. Okay. Um, let's see if we do um, kitchen. Look at the idea. It's giving you a kitchen drawer, kitchen store, kitchen cabinets. Google is going to give you ideas of what people are searching for. Okay, 30 searches a month for kitchen cabinets in Tyler. No website, no no reviews, nothing. Okay, that's just one one idea. Let me just say, uh, let's say paint painting or painters in Tyler, Michigan. Oh, sorry, Tyler, Texas. Okay, here's another one. I mean, you can literally go city by city and be able to find uh, cities where you're like crazy, okay? You don't even have to put a GMB. That's the other thing I want to talk about. A lot of people are talking about, hey, I don't have a GMB. I don't have a way to get my GMB um, verified. Oh, I've got my GMB suspended. Let me show you something. Let me go incognito, okay? Population of Reno, Nevada. Let's see that. Quarter of a million population Reno. Okay, and I'm, I'm in incognito mode. I'm going to search for water damage restoration Reno, Nevada. Okay, you see this this website here that's ranked number one organic. We we had a GMB for this, and then this GMB got suspended for whatever reason, but we still stuck on organic number one for the main keyword water damage restoration reno nevada okay water damage reno nevada and we we're still number one on that do you see that okay and i'm in incognito mode i think if i 
So off of incognito mode, we can see the the search volume. 70 searches a month of water damage by number one. Okay, water damage restoration. We know NV uh, 50 searches a month. Okay, if I if if I'm getting close to 100 calls a month. Okay, and this is getting about three to four calls a week. This website. Um, right now, I'm forwarding it to a contractor. I just called up and I spoke to somebody, and I had to follow up and actually get paid for some of the calls. But I know I, I see all the notifications come up three to four calls a week. Let's say, let's say three calls a week. That's twelve calls a month. If he's half decent, he's able to close three to four jobs a month. Um, let's say at each job, water damage restoration cost. Let's just see that. The average cost is twenty-seven hundred. Some it could be seventy-five hundred. It's a big job, but let's just say twenty-five hundred dollars. He only is able to close four jobs. That's ten thousand dollars a month going to him. Thanks to my website that doesn't even have a, a GMB. Thanks to my website that's ranking for all these keywords on organic. That's about it. Okay, um, and he's getting he's making ten thousand dollars a month. Do you think he'll be happy to pay me seven hundred fifty dollars a month? It is as simple as that, and this is in a population of 25, uh, quarter of a million population, right? You could literally go to any of these cities. There are tree service guys in South Bend, Indiana, who needs um, services. There are, let's pick a different niche, okay? Let's go for South Bend, Indiana. Let's go for doors, decks, um, garage, well, you don't want garage door. Actually, garage door could be a good thing because there's a lot of guys looking for garage door stuff. Um, maids, okay, carpet cleaning. I mean, um, all of these niches where I don't want to give away a lot of niches, but there are so many niches that if you do your research, it is crazy, okay? So let's just say South Bend, Indiana, and uh, let's just say carpet cleaning, South Bend, Indiana. Um, 140 searches a month. And these guys are here. Some of these niches you'll be surprised. Uh, let's say gutters, South Bend. Um, they won't even have a website or, or or anything. Okay, and those are the best ones, the low hanging niches you want to get into. Um, let me see. Wood. Uh, let's just go for another niche over here. Wood fence, chain link fence, fencing maybe. Let's try fencing. Fence company, South Bend. Okay, look at that. This guy here, um, he's in the map bag, no website, one review, um, and it's crazy, right? The number one guy is a DA of 10. You can literally come and put a exact match domain or a partial match domain that says South Bend Fencing Pros or something like that. You'll be ranking here. You're getting some some search volume and you pay for that right so what i'm saying is don't just go after the plumber in chicago the dallas the dentist in dallas or the lawyer in you know san diego go for the low-hanging fruits nobody is calling up the fence company in south bend indiana or the gutter repair guy in clinton michigan you see that 100 thousand population or the um or wichita falls texas you know the painter there nobody's asking him hey do you want leads but I bet you if you go to Thumbtack, those guys are there, okay? That's another good place. You go to Thumbtack.com and you can find all these different niches and categories, right? Um, lawn mowing, a concrete installation, that's another good one. Like if I go and say concrete contractor farming hills, okay? Farming hills is the city next to me. It says zero volume. I actually have a, a site over here. It gets it gets um, calls, right? But I can tell you one other thing. My site for concrete contractor, I don't want to reveal it. I I have it not just in Farmington Hills, but I have it in a lot of suburbs surrounding Farmington Hills, right? So I have it in about 20 different cities with different city pages, and I channel all of those calls to one concrete contractor, okay? And he pays me $800 a month. Uh, it is crazy what you can do if you just think. You don't even need a GMB. I just showed you a water damage restoration website in Reno that does not have a GMB. That's that's on ranking organic number one and getting calls. So I hope it helps, guys. I don't want to take too much of your time. 
but literally you need to think outside the box and just with the ebook in my um, over here the ebook here this one ebook is enough if you if you're able to find a good niche if i can scroll down this one ebook is good enough where it shows you everything you need to do how to pick a niche you know what to see when you pick a niche how to pick a domain name how to do the research how to do everything scoop up scoop up all the keywords this is good enough to be able to put a couple of websites this quarter in october november december rank them and then easily get paid 400 500 dollars a month so hope it helps guys i don't want to take too much time and uh till next time adios